right, welcome everyone to the final demo day for Lee Wagon of 2019. So for those of you who have been to Demo Day before, I may look a little different, probably a lot shorter than what you're used to. Um, but my name is Sheila. I am one of the staff members of Lee Wagon. I'm just a couple months ago, some of you may have seen my pitch, where I was talking about a travel app. Managed to convince one of the managers to keep me on as one of the staff members, and now you guys are stuck with me <laughs> as your MC for the night. So. <laughs> So I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> yeah, so as your hostess, the bathrooms are in the back. The exit is at the front. There are no side exits, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so for those of you who have been to a Lewagon event before, um, welcome back. I see a lot of familiar faces. And for those of you who haven't been to a Lewagon event before, I'll tell you a little bit about the boot camp and then how Demo Day is actually going to work. So for the boot camp, we're just nine weeks where everyone learns how to code. So front end, side end, back end, we do it all. <laughs> Yay, but <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> um, but we learn Ruby on Rails, we learn JavaScript, we learn HTML, CSS, um, as well as the uh, database for it. So beyond that, they also learn how to do product management and UX skills. As an added bonus, we throw in a nice two-week project week at the end where we force them to build an application, which they like to do. Um, but this is what you're going to see tonight. So they have built this from scratch. Uh, this is going to be from Monday of last week. They had nothing. And then tonight, they're actually going to demo it live. So a lot of courage. We're pretty excited for this. Beyond the boot camp itself, um, LeeWagon has been in Melbourne for two years, so we're so happy to be a part of this community. We couldn't have found a better fit. Um, Inspire9 has been our home for quite some time, so thank you, Inspire9. <laughs> and something else we're really proud of at LeeWagon is just how diverse our community is. Um, and I'm not just talking about you know where we come from or how we look, but just from all walks of life. So we have people who have worked in startups before. We have product managers, we have marketers, we have accountants, we have people who are just graduating from university and people who are making a career change later in life. And then the one thing that really wraps them up together is that they're all learning to code and trying to change their life. So we couldn't be more proud of our community. But enough about Levi Gaon, because really tonight is about our students. So we're gonna start some of our demos. So we're going to have three different demos, uh, three different projects, um, and then we'll wrap up and have a great uh, Christmas party. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I will introduce the first group, which is going to be Lore. So Lore is a team of four, and we have Alan, who worked at startups in the past. We have uh, Joe, who is in consulting, uh, Karma, who is a finance, member at a tech distributor. And Jin, who's the product manager for the app, is also a product manager in real life. So welcome more. Cool, thank you, Sheila. All right, so I want you all to think about your parents and about the kind of careers that they may have had, thinking 10, 20, 30 years ago. A lot of these careers, you could go straight out of high school, maybe get a degree, say if you're going to be an accountant, you could get a degree in accounting, go to an accounting firm, and the career was pretty mapped out for you. The education was pretty mapped out for you, and you'd probably be able to carry those skills for most of your career without having to do too much additional work. That's not the same anymore. A lot of the spaces that we're in, they're dynamic, they're changing, and you have to learn all the time, and certainly the education system is not keeping up with them. So we built Law as a response to that. Law helps people navigate modern careers. So what does Law mean? So Law is a noun, it's a body of knowledge, and it is a body of knowledge that is known by a particular group on a particular subject, and it's usually handed down through traditions and things like anecdotes. So we started asking ourselves, what is the law of some of these careers that we're all interested in? What is the law of UX design? What is the law of product management? 
or what is the law of front-end design? So let's take me for example. So I've just done this nine-week boot camp and learned incredible foundational skills in development, back-end and front-end. But now I'm going, okay, maybe I want to be a front-end developer for my career. What do I do with that? Where do I go? There's nowhere that I can go and understand the next steps. But now I can go to law. So I jump into front-end development and the first thing that I see is a whole bunch of skills that I need to be studying as a junior front-end dev. So this is really handy. Some of these things are really obvious and I know and I've learned from the boot camp that I need HTML and CSS. And we know those things, they're technical skills, which is great. But I hadn't thought too much about the fact that I needed to know how to work in a team or I needed to have really strong verbal communication or that I needed to know about Scrum and Agile because that's how a lot of workplaces are operating these days. So let's jump into Agile. So we click into Agile, this is a skill that I know I need to learn more about and I'm presented with a whole lot of learning opportunities. So this is great because I can go and actually action this now. But I have just come from a boot camp, I'm pretty broke, I have no cash, so I'm going to just cut out anything above 50 bucks because I'm cheap. Alright, so I've got these learning opportunities, I'm scrolling through and I'm going to mark a few, make a bit of a short list with some bookmarking. So there's a couple, there's a meetup here. I've got a few online courses. Great. Okay, so I've got a few bookmarked now. I've got a short list. I'm going to go to my short list and have a look in a bit more detail. So, Agile meets design thinking. Let's have a look at that one. I've got a bit more detail in here, which is really helpful. I can see that it's really practical. It's, there's testable narratives about the user and creating a strong shared perspective. So there's a bit of jargon in here, but I can kind of see this is the kind of thing I'm interested in. I can also scroll down and see what other people thought. It's a bunch of reviews. It's actually a really highly regarded course. So you know what? I think I might actually take this one up. So I can jump over to the site. And here we go. I can sign up. But it might be a few years on now. So I've been a front-end dev for maybe two, two years. And I'm thinking, what's next? We can come back to law and I can see now I want to be a mid-level dev. What does that look like? This is really great. Now I can actually see, okay, this is the next set of skills I need to develop. This is a bit of a path that I can follow. And I can see that, okay, as I'm a mid-level dev, I need to start understanding a bit more about the design and not just about the development side of things. And further again, I can look at what it look, means to be a senior dev. And I can start seeing here, okay, I need to start thinking about how to mentor and how to build capability in other teams. So this is really great because it's giving me that single place to go to that gives me a path that's actually actionable for all these emerging technology-based careers. The other piece is now that I have been a dev for a little while, I'm actually thinking, you know what, there was this course that I went to that was really, really great and other people might benefit from learning on this course, but I didn't see it on the platform. So I can go in... And I can also suggest learning opportunities for other people. So this is really great because not only does it mean that law will continue changing by having experts contribute as well, this law is going to continue evolving alongside these professions and law will continue to help people navigate modern careers. Excellent. That was very alluring. <laughs> um, all right. Sorry. Thank you, Laura. That was incredible. Uh, for our next group, we're going to have um, Weekend PA. So this is a team of three. Uh, one of them is Wadi, who worked in customer service before this. Um, the second member is Vincent, who not only is he a um, professional video gamer, but is going to be a university student next year. And the product manager for this group is also in uni, and their name is Omar. So Omar, the floor is yours. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Omar, and uh, today has been a crazy day for me, and tonight is gonna be even crazier. I, uh, me and my friends organized a party for our friend Vincent, who's coming from overseas. And uh, his mom was supposed to pick him up from the airport, but her car broke, 
and then I have to become up in such a short notice. So we're, we're organizing a party for him, and I have a lot of stuff to buy for tonight. We have, I, have, uh, I have to get some coffee to get along the night. It has been a long day. Um, I have to get grocery for, um, for, uh, for the barbecue party. I have um, to go to the hardware store. We don't even have a barbecue grill. <laughs> and, uh, and now we need to add another task, which is picking up Vincent from the airport. So we'll go ahead and add a, another task. It's an appointment. We'll add a title for it and a specific location, airport. And uh, his flight will land 8.30, so I reckon we can get him around 9. Cool, now we created the tasks. We have all the tasks in the list. But how would I get everything done in, in, in the most efficient way in, in tonight? Like, so luckily we've created this genius application that can route all my tasks efficiently. So let's see what that rock, uh, rocket does. It's generating omarized mission. And what, does that, well, what that does is it routes all the tasks in the most efficient way. So this is a, a final checklist where it tells me all the list I need, everything I need to do. So we'll uncheck everything we don't want to do tonight. So I don't think the post office is necessary tonight. A um, haircut is important. I want to look good tonight. <laughs> and um, the gym, we don't need to do the gym tonight. Pick up Vincent is important, I think. Car wash, gas station is not important. Haven't done them in ages, though. And then we go accept. And after I accept, it takes us to the actual route where it starts with the first, very first mission. It tells me where the nearest calls along the way. Um, and as you can see, we can go through tasks one by one, um, checking the, the, the tasks, and go for the next. Buy a gift for Vincent. Yeah, we're buying him a gift. <laughs> and then I'm going back home to deliver everything before I get a haircut, <laughs> and go to the airport, and back to the house. And mission was completed. <laughs> yeah, so the, the application basically is you put your task inside, and then you, um, you, you select the mission, and then it trials them out for you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, great work, guys. And for our final group and our final demo, this is another team of three. So we have Sophie, who is our transplant from France and most recently Barcelona. She's a project manager, product manager as well. Our second member of the group is Maddie, who's a university student, as well as a teacher, as well as running her own startup, so basically superwoman. And then Amaya, who worked as a digital marketer before this and our product manager for Curiosity. Thanks, Sheila. So how many people here remember taking notes at uni? Cool. I'm sure most of us did. But if you're anything like me, you didn't revisit those, those notes until week 12, one week before the exams, where you'd have a 12-hour long caffeine-fueled cramming sesh, right? And that's definitely not the best way to, uh, to learn. And I definitely don't remember any, anything I did in those cramming sessions. Um, so we built Curiosity to solve exactly this problem. Uh, it's an evidence-based um, note-taking and study app that helps you retain the information that you're learning instead of just cramming. Um, so today, I'm going to meet Bob. Um, this is Bob's dashboard. He can see all of his draft documents and his revision schedule for the day. So let's say that he's got a lecture today. So he's going to create a new document to start taking notes. Bob's being very patient. <laughs> And then Bob gives up and leaves the lecture. <laughs> All right, so Bob's got the document open. Um, today, Bob's going to learn about active recall, which is actually one of the principles that this app is based upon. So he adds a title, he starts typing away, he's taking notes. And if you, if you think about anything that we learn, you can break it down into its most fundamental concepts. And that's probably the best way to learn anything, right? 
So our app is built on this principle. So if you add a triple new line, um, you can basically break up your notes into uh, fundamental concepts. And the app recognizes that and separates it using these, these blue boxes. And let's say that Bob's got an exam for active recall in, um, in February, on the 10th of February. So you can add that date. And now the app knows when, how long you have to study for this. So Bob's going to go ahead and create those concepts. So cool. What Curiosity just did was it recognized what each individual concept was and split it up into flashcards. And why do we use flashcards? Because active recall is the best way to actually retain information. If you think about how most people use notes, they probably just sit there, highlight them, maybe reread them a few times. It's this really passive way of studying. And based on the research we did, that's the most ineffective way of studying. So now that Bob's added some prompts for his uh, flashcards, he might be able to add a tag if he wants to, to find it later on. Cool. And then now he's just going to finalize his concepts. Cool. So the cool thing that Curiosity just did was based on his exam date, it automatically generated a revision schedule for him based on a space repetition algorithm. Um, what does that mean? Instead of cramming everything in 12 hours in one night, he can study like in little 20 minute sessions over his whole semester and not be stressed and actually retain the information in the future. So as you can see at the top, Bob's already got a session due for today. Um, so we might do some JavaScript today. So let's, let's, let's study. Cool. So this is what the revision interface looks like. So basically, um, these are some cards that Bob created earlier from his JavaScript notes. And he can type in what he thinks is the answer. And this is cool because like, this is actually getting you to actively trying to retrieve the, mem uh, the information from your memory, which is what reinforces that pathway versus just rereading your notes where you just end up forgetting everything. So he can mark that as correct or incorrect, and the app tracks your performance for each card. And then once he gets to the last card, he can either continue his sessions if he's got any more for today, which I think he does. Uh, but I think we're just going to finish the session. Now, what if you just want to study something um, that you're a bit weak on and you don't want to follow the schedule? So Bob can go to his concepts. Um, so this is like basically everything that Bob's ever learned. And he can filter these down. He doesn't know a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> he can filter these down and like just study whatever he wants to study today. Yeah, so that's Curiosity. It's basically an app to help students um, actually remember the things they're learning instead of just cramming and forgetting it all in the future. Great, thank you. I'm pretty curious what you guys will get up to next. Uh, been thinking about that one all night. <laughs> all right. Um, before all of our students go and celebrate, if all of y'all could come up to the front, so all 10 of you. Yes, something new. <laughs> Great, so we just wanted to say massive, massive, massive congratulations to everything that you've accomplished in the last nine weeks. Um, before this, they basically didn't know coding, a lot of them at least. Um, and look where you guys are now, three fully functioning apps. Um, I know speaking on behalf of the staff, we couldn't be more proud. So really, congratulations, guys. Um, and then our second thank you is to our teaching staff. So Marty, um, Alec, who isn't with us right now, Paul, the driver, and the rest of our teaching staff, thank you so much. You have such an impact on the students, on the boot camp. We wouldn't be in a place now if you guys weren't a part of it. So just thank you so much. Great, and thank you to all of you all for coming out, for always supporting us, uh, for Inspire9, and have an incredible Christmas. Happy holidays. Yeah. <laughs>